Why? So bad. The sole reason this doesn't get a half star and gets that extra half star is because the prologue is genuinely great. Suspension of disbelief noted on the retcon, which we talked about at length. It's a decent bookend to H2O, H20, gosh, stupid title. I'll also add that the reality TV show concept is totally believable for a haunted house in the 2000s. I could see MTV doing this or whatever. It's dumb as dirt here and how it's executed and it's just an awful idea. It may not be a good idea, but it's not an unrealistic idea for this movie. Everything else here is the purest definition of awful. I apparently watched a version on Prime that aired on TV that mucked up the already near incomprehensible editing. It's also horribly sexist, misogynistic, with some of the worst acting put to horror film I have ever seen. And that is saying something. The script barely qualifies as a screenplay. It feels like a fan film in all of the worst ways. I don't even have enough time in my day to go on and on about how absolutely stupid and cliche most of the movie is. It's an insult to everything about the franchise. They didn't even have the decency to give a proper ending. What an absolute joke. Dial back. Michael Myers is just there. He's so played out at this point in the franchise, invincible for no reason. It removes all stakes and fun. He's just a super villain, overpowered, killing everyone. But was it bad I was rooting for him at times because this was so grating? I appreciate that, at least in this, they try to fight back against the killer, unlike many others. And on that subject of characters actually fighting back, there's something else to note here that's hilariously entertaining in all the wrong ways. Almost so bad it's good. We get Busta Rhymes as a Bruce Lee mimicking martial arts reality TV show producer that gets into multiple one-on-one -on -one fights with Michael Myers and kind of wins. How is that even a factual statement? I give Halloween Resurrection one out of five stars. Honestly though, I would rather watch these than the Rob Zombie remakes. Those might be better made movies, but this was at least more absurd and less uncomfortable to watch, but it's just bad. And I think everyone's pretty much with me on that one. If you have a point that could help me appreciate this film more, comment below and help me always look for the good.